Hey everybody, it's Monday, and my fat boy Razor is not here yet. It's going to be here today, but it's not here now, and this is the only time of the day that I can uh, make this video because of family and everything. We got things to go to and baseball tournaments and all this stuff. Anyway, so coming this Friday, I will have the fat boy that I got redone at the Razor Emporium in hand and ready to go, ready to show you everything about it and how it looks and how it shades and everything. So for right now, I'm just growing my hair and growing my goatee. You see that? Can you see? See the gray? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yep, yeah, still living with the hair and uh, growing a goatee. I'm having to use this beard oil again because it started to itch me yesterday. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on right now before I even shave. Should I? No, I'm going to wait because I'll have to wash it off and I want to keep washing my face. Anyway, so what I'm going to do today is just have a normal... Oh, let me get my little bowl out. Hold on. i got to put some hot water in it. I forgot to do that. I'm trying to sneak this shave in with uh, everybody home, wife and kids and everything, and, uh, and a friend over, so, because we have, like I said, we have a baseball tournament later today. Okay, I uh, took a shower, did my hair, putting some water up on these parts of my face, just these parts. Yeah, I know. Somebody, uh, somebody said, please don't grow goatee because I don't want you to have a shorter video. Well, I promise I'll extend the videos. I'll just shave really slowly. That's what I'll do. All right, today I'm gonna use Barbasol just cause, just cause, just cause. I don't need a reason, just cause. All right, this is about how much I use like for my whole face. Uh, I put, I just put some water up on my face even though I just took a shower. And now I'm going to smear it around the goatee. I'm, uh, with this new haircut, you know how actors like famous people, they're always changing their style changing their hairstyles and their whatever for different roles for movies. Well, I'm not an actor. I have acted before. I mean, I'm kind of an actor, but I'm not famous. Anyway, my point is, you don't have to stick with the same look you've had since high school. That's, that's kind of a common thing. In fact, I had that for years. Like you get in a set way, like in, when you're like 13 or 14 and then you just stay there. It's like, I'm tired of being that. I wanna change my hair, I wanna change, and as you get older, you care less about those kind of things because there's not as much pressure on you, especially if you're married and your wife loves you, <laughs> which I'm lucky that I have that. So I'm just kind of, I'm growing a goatee, got the head, you know, shave kind of thing. And we're going to, I'm going to look tough. I'm going to look super tough this, this summer. Don't mess with me. And I do want to say that uh, we had a big baseball tournament this weekend, my oldest boy, and we were out in the Texas heat. It was about... 95 degrees Fahrenheit and really high humidity all weekend. We were out there for like, you know, five hours each day. And uh, this short hair didn't cool me off. No, I got sold a bill of goods. This did not keep me cool. <laughs> there's no, there's no beat in the Texas heat, no matter how short your hair is. It was just hot and disgusting. Oh, I gotta slow down, sorry. I'll wash off the blade very slowly. Yeah, I've been checking the, uh, I got the emails from the Razor Emporium saying that my my fat boy was done, and that it's being delivered today. Now that means it'll probably be delivered, uh, I don't know, like three o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's about 1.30 right now. So it's not here yet. I wanted to make a video with it today, but I'm not gonna rush it. I'm gonna save it for Friday. And use it then, and I'm excited to see how, how it turned out. If you wanna see the state of it before, just look a couple of videos back and you'll see I made a little video showing you how bent it was and that when you are buying vintage razors off of eBay and uh, the seller, you know, puts photos up with the, uh, the, the butterfly doors closed on a twist open razor and it looked fine, it looked great. But as soon as I uh, tried to, you know, untwist and open it up, I could see that it was all bent out of shape. It was a slant fat boy as many of you have commented. All right, well, this is so weird. Look at that. Do I look tough? This is my tough face. <laughs> I don't know. I still, you know, I put the beard oil on. And put some more, I'm gonna do a second pass. I put the beard oil on because it was itching me. And, and then because it's new, I'm always touching this little bit of fuzz right here. And then the beard oil gets underneath my fingernails and it kind of grosses me out and I feel greasy all the time. That's. That's another reason why I don't like having facial hair. I think it is flattering on my face to a certain extent, but man, it just bugs me. It bugs me and the products that I put on so that it doesn't bug me 
they bug me. It's the oil. I just and plus the oil has the smell that reminds me. I was uh, went to college and went silly, silly for me, and I, I got a uh, a bachelor of fine arts degree, right? So I was going to be a graphic designer, which I was for years. I learned more out of college than I did in college about being a graphic designer, but. Uh, at the time I was going to school, we didn't. Even, we had like three computers in the whole school. <laughs> I, I went to school in the 1930s, I guess. But anyway, the smell of the beard oil reminds me of the oil that you would use and add to oil paints. Like, you know, I, 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 I was a graphic designer, so I was going to do computer graphic design, right? And illustration, things like that. But you had to do... Being a Bachelor of Fine Arts, you had to do sculpture, you had to do painting, you had to do, uh, you know, life drawing and all this stuff. And so when I would do oil paintings, sometimes you add a little bit of, I think it's linseed oil, to kind of thin out your oil paints. And that's what this beard oil reminds me of. It reminds me of this linseed oil from my old college art days. I was in art school, you know, like the Beatles. <laughs> And the Rolling Stones, actually. I think several, mu lots of musicians who are right-brained are not only musicians, but also visual artists, you know, illustrators or painters. Frank Sinatra was a big painter. Ron Wood, Tony Bennett. It's just that part of your brain is activated and you want to express yourself in different ways. But anyway, I don't like smelling that, that oil smell all the time. It, it smells like I'm back in college in the 90s and, I don't know. I didn't enjoy... Uh, every single art class I had to take. I'm glad I got to go. I'm glad for the opportunity. Believe me, I'm not taking it for granted. All right, just a teeny bit more. We're going to do 19 passes today. So if I'm growing a goatee, I'm going to do 24 passes each time. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm, I can hear you. Yes, do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going not gonna to bow down to peer pressure. I know all the cool kids are doing it. I know, I know. I'm not a cool kid. All right, let's go up against the grain, up to the sideburn. And, uh, and then we'll put some beard oil on this small bit of goatee that I have going. And then put on some aftershave. It is kind of nice having facial hair because you don't have to shave the whole thing, you know? That's kind of nice for the lazy man. It's the lazy man's way. No, you're not. I'm not saying you're lazy if you have facial hair. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just goofing around, guys. You know me. I'm trying to trying to fill the time, trying to keep you entertained. Hopefully, I'm doing a little bit of that, entertaining you guys every uh, couple of days a week. I'm starting to get uh, more friends in real life that are uh, that are watching my videos and asking me uh, if they're PG-13. I say, yeah, I keep them clean. I don't cuss. I don't uh, get into anything that would be offensive if you watch it with your kids. But I still say, why would you let a 48 watch it? Let your kids watch a 48 year old shirtless man shave his face. <laughs> let him watch some toy videos. Open up some toy videos and, you know, or Play Doh or something. Or a Twitch stream. Watch a Twitch stream. Watch somebody play some video games. Uh, hey, there's going to be a new shaving game coming out. Yeah, it's called Sinatra Lennon 19. It's going to be all about you play me. It's going to be virtual reality. You look in the mirror and you see my face. Ah, it's going to be terrible. Don't play that game. Please don't play that game. And if you're a game developer, please don't develop that game. Sinatra Lennon 19. Kind of like all the sports video games that come out every year. You know, put the whatever year it is. All right. Well, that's good. Oh, so, sorry, I was using my Rockwell razor, in case you didn't notice. The Rockwell 6S for stainless steel, even though it's kind of the matte finish stainless steel. 6S, I will never forget again. I might forget, but I'm not gonna forget. Can't forget, must not forget, might forget. All right, today for aftershave, after shavery, that's a word I just coined, after shavery. You can use that if you want. I'm going to go back to the old caffeinated Pacific Shaving Company aftershave. And it's minty fresh. There's not much left. I need to get some more, actually. I, haven't, I have a hard time finding it, actually. Um, I see their shaving cream, but this stuff is usually out. See, that's all I can get right now. I might have to do a mix. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a mix because there's not enough in there. I'm going to use some of this K 
cremo. You like that pronunciation? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do a little, it's like a little light greenish and a little white. Yeah. Oh, I love that cremo stuff. It just smells comforting. It's weird. It's the, it's the first aftershave I've used that smells comforting. Like an old leather sofa or an old leather uh, seat you just sink down into and you read a book by the fire with a cup of coffee or a, or a brandy or a whiskey or whatever your tipple of choice is. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like it. Whew, that's nice. All right. I have this The Stuff Barber's Oil for shave and beard. And this was the stuff, the stuff that they gave me a while back to try out. And I actually had this in the bag of things that I'm going to be giving away at some point. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that best so that people don't get angry with me. But anyway, I had to dig back into the bag and get this out. And now I'm gonna put just a teeny bit, like a little squirt right there. And then I'm gonna dip my fingers in it like this and just apply it. Because uh, when I first got this stuff, I was using way too much. And, uh, and then I learned from you, and that's, you know, that's a good thing about this channel, is that, you know, you might learn something from me, and I learn a lot from you guys, because there's so many of you out there, and there's so many good uh, comments, and good opinions, and uh, tips, and tricks, and everything. So, if you're looking for more information, just check out the comments below my videos, and you might find something that'll, that'll help you out, it might fit your situation. And luckily, I, I'm, I'm one of the lucky few probably on YouTube that don't have just like the most poisonous, toxic comment sections. They're pretty good. There's a, there's a lot of good people. Very rarely is there anything that's like offensive. And if it is something like really offensive or totally off topic, it's out of there. Yeah, I curate. All right, what am I supposed to do? My hair, I, I feel like I should do something else, but I just, that's it. I, I feel like, once my hair grows back, I'm going to have to like start putting the mousse back in and the hairspray and getting the brush out and everything. But for now, eh, it's looking, it's looking longer. It's actually looking a little bit longer. So we got it down here. We got it up here. They're going to be about the same length in a couple of weeks, I think. I'm trying to get the sideburns down. Get them. This one was a little bit higher, so I'm kind of growing it out. <laughs> and I had to trim my eyebrows. Guys, trim your eyebrows. Trim your nose hair. Trim your ear hair. If you see it coming in, Take care of it. Nobody wants to see that. Trim your fingernails too, guys. Nobody wants to see gross hair coming out of your whole head and long fingernails, <laughs> unless you're going for that, that kind of hermit look, which nobody should be going for in the first place. Okay, what I do is I, at the end of this, I stop and I look around and I think, what else have I not done? And I think I've done it all. And it's been 13 minutes. That's about the right length, even with the goatee. I think adding the beard oil. I think that helps. Got the old salt and pepper going on. Yeah, distinguished, right? Sure, why not? I'm already getting comments from the wife and kids when I, when I kiss them goodnight or good morning or whatever. Oh, the old prickly face. It comes with the territory, right? <laughs> All right, so Friday I will have, well, today I'll have it, but Friday I'll have a video with the fat boy in hand. Not the grungy fat boy, but I will compare the two. Grunge-wise, this one's real grungy, and no, I'm not gonna have this replated, I'm not gonna scrub it. I mean, I do scrub it from time to time, but I'm leaving it just the way it is, and I'll show you the fancy one. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So look for that on Friday, the repaired fat boy. And we'll see how well they did, Razor Emporium. I'm optimistic, and that was a great little shave. My cheeks just feel plump and <laughs> soft. All right, that's enough. Gee, many. When you start talking like that, you got to get at her. I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for, sh thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching or whatever you did during this video. Listening. Yeah, you could listen. You could watch. You could do any number of things. All right. See you later.